Good evening, everyone. Well, every shot counts in golf in the final round of the Island Resort Championship proves that. The Symmetra Tour Tournament came down to the very last hole. Lots of clouds at times, some sun and no rain at the final day of the fourth annual tournament as you look from the ninth green to the 18th. On the ninth, Vermont, Molly Aronson gently slides her birdie attempt just past the hole and she would tap it in for par. In the next group, second round leader Lacey Agnew of Georgia with a birdie attempt, but the ball fades to her right. She had a 79 and tied for ninth at three over par. Time to go to the Island Green at number 15 where anything can happen. And this rock makes a major statement in the tournament. Aronson with the tee shot on 15. Ball sails pretty high and watch this. It bounces right off the rock and stays on land. Aronson three putted for a bogey four to drop back to one under par, but that's still better than a possible double bogey five if the ball went into the water. First round leader Lee Lopez of California had a very good tee shot on 15 and her ball would settle less than a foot away from the pin for an easy birdie. However, she gave away a couple shots on 16 and 17 and finished for fifth place at two over par. Arizona Sedina Parks came to 15 tied for the lead and she had a chance to regain the advantage with this tee shot that stopped about 12 feet from the flag stick. She rolled her putt right into the center of the cup to go to two under par. Aronson barely missed birdie attempts on 17 and 18. Parks bogeyed 17, so they were tied when Parks started 18. Parks fell in the water with her tee shot. After a drop, her third shot found the gallery. A great chip shot, though, gave Parks a chance for par and a playoff with Aronson, but the ball rimmed the cup and would not fall. Heartbreak for Parks, jubilation for Aronson as she wins the Island Resort Championship by one shot with a one under par 215. I had heard she had gone in the water. I wasn't really sure what went on, but like I said, being a college teammate of mine, um, I was happy either way. You know, if I had to do a playoff, if she won or I won, uh, it's pretty cool. She's such an athlete, and I look up to her a lot. I didn't think it would be that high on the bleachers where everybody was standing, and um, but it was a good chip. I, I I was trying to concentrate on getting it really, really close because I knew what was um, at hand, and you know, I, I did, but uh, unfortunately, I missed the putt. There's the first place check, $18,750. The victory should put Aronson into the top 15 on the money list. The top 10 at the end of the year will get to play on the LPGA Tour next season. Final leaderboard has Aronson at one under par. Sedina Parks gets more than $11,500 for her even par 216. Canada, Sarah Magino and the United States, Katie Kempter tied for third at one over par and four tied for fourth at two over 218. Over in Munising's Mustang Stadium, the 39th annual Pictured Rocks Road Race kicked off despite the pouring rain. Around 125 people participated in the 5K and half marathon runs. In the half marathon, the course was all over Munising, down Highway M28, and even around the Maple Grove Cemetery. The run slowed down several runners, but not former Nagani High School graduate Mike Wasson. He was followed closely by Dollar Bay's Ryan Toes and Marquette's Melanie Bissigo. And that's the order they would finish in as Wasson crossed the line first in one hour and 27 minutes. He says the heavy downpour did not affect his fast finish. It makes your shoes a little bit heavy, but I think for the most part, it's not much of a factor. If you're used to running with wet shoes, which I think anybody that does any trail running or running around here probably runs with wet shoes quite often, so I didn't find it much of a problem. I think it helped. It helped me go out a little bit faster than I normally would have, and I would think it helped distract me from how fast I was running. So. Marquette's Melanie Bissigo was the first female to finish in a time of 1 hour 36 minutes, while Wetmore's Brett Hanna finished the 5K in just over 18 minutes. Gardens Jill Richard was the first female finisher in the 5K in 23 minutes, and all top finishers in each group received a Kiwana gem. The Marquette Blues Legion baseball team won the annual Marinette Firecracker Tournament, finishing the weekend with a 3-1 record. The Blues would win the three-way tie with Menominee and Marinette, defeating Watertown 7-4 to take home the trophy. Ryan Hansen was the winning pitcher. And again, Menominee and Marinette both finished with 3-1 records as the Red Wave defeated the Blue Jays 2-1, while the Cubs beat Manitowoc 5-3. Also in action, the Gladstone Indians, they would fall though to Luxembourg, Wisconsin 6-2 and 2-1. And highlights, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com.
I'm still looking at that shot, the golf shot on the back of the rocks. Wow, <laughs> that was either extreme luck or extreme skill. Probably a combination of both bounce right back onto the green, so incredible finish. That's usually the best answer. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Lily. No problem. Still to come on your TV6 Late News, if you're ever hurting for something to do with your community, you just can't go wrong with a chicken barbecue when we come back.